Um, in this tutorial, I will um, show you, um, I will start with uh, the first two script that are, those are presented in lab two. So if you open your week two lab, um, you will, um, and if you go to your um, last part, last section where two script are presented. So the first one is exercise 7.1, which is running a hello world script. So in this tutorial, I will show um, how to write this simple script and um, then run them. So if you look at running a hello world script, um, you can see the file. Um, so the first, um, we use the Vi editor to create a file and we will use that Vi editor in order to write our script. So VI and then we write fast. Um, so the moment we will um, type VI and fast, a file named fast will be created. And then within the file, we will type these things. Um, as you can see, uh, there is three lines um, preceded with hash. So anything with hash um, will be considered as the comment. They will not be interpreted or compiled. And then clear. So this will uh, clear the screen. And then you can see echo and uh, knowledge is power. So that means it will just print knowledge is power on the screen. Anything um, after echo, uh, anything we put within the double code will be um, directly printed into the screen. So let's have a look. So I say VI, um, VI, and then FIRST first. So this will create a temporary file named first, and we can start writing. Now at this stage, I am on the command mode. So I have to, I want to go to the editing mode or insertion mode in order to start um, writing or typing. So I will press I in the keyboard and that will take me into the insertion mode. So the first uh, command that I will write is clear and press enter. I type echo and then knowledge is power, double good finish, semicolon. Um, our code is finished. We are going to just um, exit. So I press escape in the keyboard. So it moved to the um, common mode. Now we press colon X. This will save and exit. Okay. If I put LS, I can see there is a file named first, as you can see first. So the next thing that we will do is we'll change the mode and we give execution mode for the user. So 755 and then first. So that should become um, executable file. If I put ls again, you can see it becomes green. So these green files are actually executed. And now if I press um, first, enter, as you can see, it printed knowledge is power. So everything is cleared because of the clear command. So clear command cleared the screen and then knowledge is power is equaled. If I type again, the same thing. Okay. Now let's go to the second one. Okay. The second one says demo of using propositional uh, positional parameters. So here it says create a file names script one dot sh, and then um, put this. Um, so this one is just telling um, or giving the uh, direction that bash terminal will be used, and then this is a comment. This is a comment. And then um, you can see it equals the first argument is dollar one, and then equal the second argument is dollar two, and then it is telling if we run the script um, with saying like bash script one dot sh and hello London. So actually these two words are being passed as the argument. Now if you remember, I have mentioned in the lecture that dollar uh, zero can take the name of the file. So if I print $0 variable, then it will print the name of the file, which is script1.sh. And then $1, $2, $3, $4, $5, and up to um, $9 will take all um, the arguments. The first argument, second argument, third argument that we will pass after running the file. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, I'm going to type vi and I say script, let's say sh, okay. Now I'm on the command mode, so I press I in the keyboard. It takes me to the insertion mode. And um, so what we will do, we can, um, if we want to, we can uh, write all those commands. And if we go directly, then also it is okay. So we say, for example, write, um, 
on. Okay, hang on. Okay. Um, so now it is ready to go again. Um, the first argument is it's a dollar one. So when we will write, uh, we will execute the uh, script. The first argument that we will pass will be saved in this variable, dollar one variable. Okay. Um, then if we type echo the second argument is and it will be in dollar um, dollar two okay dollar uh, okay dollar two If I, um, now I'm going to save and exit, so I press escape. The moment I press escape, it goes back to the common mode. It's a colon X, so saved. And, and then um, I do 755 script.sh ls. So that becomes um, green as well. So if I run it and saying, um, Say my name <laughs> um, so you can see the first argument is Khandeka the second argument is Ahmed so that means um, when I execute this file the execute this or run this script and I pass these two arguments okay so it um, this argument is saved in dollar one variable and this argument is saved in dollar two variable and if we go back and look at the script again you can see I just echo the first argument is dollar one, so it prints um, the value of dollar one variable, which is Kandakar, and dollar two variable is Ahmed. Um, so if I run the file again and say with something else, um, say I call system administration and press enter, the first argument is system, the second argument is administration. Um, I believe. This tutorial will um, um, is helping you. Um, however, still, if you have any confusion, um, put your comments um, under this video. Um, put your question if you have any question, and um, I will see whether I can answer them or not, or I'll try to answer them. Thank you.